My name is Franklin and I'm an analyst on the operations team here at Fictive. Today we're going to talk about some of the differences between multi-jet fusion and selective laser sintering. Multi-jet fusion, or MJF, and selective laser sintering, or SLS, both utilize nylon material. To help you make the right choice, here's an overview of the differences between each technology in terms of their resulting functional properties. MJF machines deposit a detailing agent along the exterior of the part that, after media blasting, results in a less coarse surface finish when compared to the SLS process. MJF parts come off the bed gray, whereas SLS parts are white, though both can be dyed black afterwards. MJF has a slightly better resolution when compared with SLS, with a layer height of 0.08 mm versus 0.1 mm for SLS. If you're prototyping smaller quantities, under around 100 units, SLS is generally more cost effective. At higher bridge production quantities, MJF becomes a better cost effective option because of the machine's modular design and faster production speeds. As for mechanical properties, MJF parts have a higher flexure strength than SLS parts. Therefore, MJF is typically considered more often for both end-use parts and functional testing under higher loads. To get an instant quote for multi-jet fusion parts delivered in as fast as three days, log in to the Fictive platform and try our next-gen quotes, where MJF and other new manufacturing processes are exclusively available for online quoting. We hope that gave you an understanding of some of the differences between multi-jet fusion and selective laser sintering. Thanks for watching.